Shalom. You know the feeling that sometimes you are stuck, you're sad, you're sorry, you got no energy to do anything. That is the right moment when you need to relight your fire. And in best way model, we teach an executive how to start the fire in your life and how to start it out here. So first thing we, go, we do is to find the little branches, to start to collect little twigs, whatever we know about ourselves that is flammable, that is good, that is working, that we can trust ourselves. We know that we're doing it in the best way. Now, after I'm doing that, using the sound around, it's all right. That's part of the elements, and in nature and in life, people will disturb you, but you got your mission. You want to get back to your fire. We get to the ground. We set the goal that we want to have, and the first thing we do when we get here is clearing. Clear all the area. Clear everything that people told about you, that you think about yourself. All the bad thoughts, kick it away. You don't need them. It doesn't help you. And you come to a fresh start. Using the smallest, smallest. Here we got some pine thorns. And now you start to build the fire. You need to have the patience to build your target and your mission a step by step. If you try to run it too fast, it's not going to work. Now, the key thing is to use the elements that combine heat, oxygen, and burning material. Those are the things, the three elements of fire. And when we get them all together, we start by putting the smallest twigs right next to it. In our survival courses, we teach that the first element of survival the most important thing is never to get to the situation that you are so make sure you got fire with you all the time make sure that you come in out to whatever you go arranged and planned so it can be for business it can be for many other things and right next to it I keep collecting more things let me have just another minute with you to keep whatever I find to make sure that I won't have to run there and back in business is called dev tea. Dev tea means that you are spending time on things that doesn't really matter. And you waste your energy. Our energy is limited. Now, when I get them built up like that, we don't have any wind, but you want to use the wind direction. You want to look on the outside and understand the environment that you work with. All right? Make sure that your business plan, that your family plan is suitable. To the environment that you live so sometimes you might want to build some kind of shelter so the forest won't run all in fire you just put some stones around and fix it and make it everything nice and ready ready let's start the fire when i know that the other twigs here is prepared if the wind will come from that way I will use it so I will start the light from here. Make sure that you come in with full power. I'm taking two matches. We are right after a big storm here and everything is wet. Now it started sometimes I will have to lock the wind. Sometimes I let it go and blow. Now I got something that really really easily starts to go and to grow yeah and I can add just gently a bit more twigs too many of those might hold the fire and take it out of oxygen I want to have my coffee ready soon so sometimes we're doing it as competitions between teams when they're trying to get their own way and their own fire and who will get the highest ones. Adding more, just gently. The pine cones, as you see, are really, really good for burning. And guys, slowly, slowly, we have a fire. Please, whenever you feel despair, whenever you feel sad, you should remember that the people who succeed are the ones who never give up and going, moving on and on and on. 
find the thing that you love to do, that inspire you. And the most important thing, give good benefits to other people around you. And then you can have the most amazing fire. You can full, fulfill your destiny and be happy for whatever thought that you have. You see the wind going to the other side. Now I'm ready for the night. Enjoy. <laughs>